Am um, shall we start? Ramita ma? Ah. Ramita ma'am. No, madam, my voice is audible, madam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's audible. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Sure. A warm good evening to one and all present for the webinar on emerging trends in data analytics, organized by Department of Data Analytics. I am Dr. Amida V, Assistant Professor. Savita College of Federal Arts and Science. I feel privileged to extend our warm welcome to today's resource person, Dr. Asadi Srinivasula, sir, visiting professor, Newcastle University, Australia. I also welcome all the participants from various reputed institutions to the five days international faculty development program. On behalf of our department, we extend our profound gratitude towards our respected chancellor, sir, Dr. N. M. Virayan, sir, Dr. Respe respected Dr. Director, Madam, Dr. Ramya Deepak, ma'am and our respected principal ma'am, Dr. Gunita Aranchandok ma'am. I'm glad to invite Dr. K. Kalesh Helvi, Head, Department of Data Analytics, Associate Professor, to introduce the, our chief guest of the day. Thank, thank you.
Yeah, thank you, madam, for nice introduction. Uh, 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 good evening, uh, my dear friends. Today, I would like to share my knowledge in the field of data science. I started with uh, data, database management systems, data mining, big data, and data science. Over the period, I learned many things from uh, raw data to refined data by using machine learning and deep learning and AI and the statistical techniques. I have developed 150 projects in my data science research laboratory with the help of uh, masters and PhD students. Today, I would like to share my knowledge in the field of data science applications using artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning techniques. How do we develop a model that model gives us a simplification of the reality. It gives the whether the data is right or wrong with the help of classification, clustering, association rule mining, and outlier detection. And by using Python programming, various libraries I am using like uh, uh, Pandas, NumPy, Scikit-learn, Theano, PyTorch, TensorFlow, Keras, Pillow, etc. So, once again, a warm welcome to a five days international virtual faculty development program. My dear friends, today, the day you can clarify your doubts, any doubts related to data, database management system, data mining, big data, and data science. These are my expertised areas. Any doubt, any technique, any logic, related to 
data science applications especially in healthcare domain or uh, insurance domain weather forecasting domain traffic analysis sensex etc okay so i am a corporate trainer usually i am demonstrating with the practical session on data science applications using ai ml and dl techniques i used to give training for google and tcs employees and cyber security and internet of things blockchain technology various technologies by using ai statistical and machine and deep learning techniques i am using and i am developing a uh, various models in order to predict or in order to detect by using classification clustering association rule mining outlier detection so my dear friends within uh, 60 seconds what is happening in this world see how many users are connected to this internet world if you are using facebook netflix See Netflix, six lakhs ninety four thousand four hundred and forty four hours watched, three point eight million such queries, one million logging in, eighteen point million text sent, a one point eight million email sent. Where the data is coming from? How to store the data? How many servers are required to store a huge volume of data? So you may get doubt, sir. How many servers are required? That's why we are going towards cloud computing. Cloud computing is nothing but internet-based technology. So, so every MNC having their own data center. Data center is nothing but collection of high integrated servers at one place is called data center. Data center backbone is virtualization and the high computing servers. see even uh, cloud computing uh, backbone is data center and uh, virtualization virtualization is the ability to perform multiple tasks in a single system with the help of vmware hypervisor zen virtual iron these are the popular virtualization technologies we are using in order to store huge volume of data delhi delhi bolya delhi bolya there some voice some noise is coming please unmute yourself so if you want to see the statistics in this worldwide just go to www.internetlivestats.com you come to know how many users are connected in this uh, uh, in this second in this minute 60 seconds per minute how many users are connected right now can you can, can anyone read this number 5 billion 306 million One sixty-nine thousand six hundred and forty-one. See, by reading itself, we are feeling tough. That means per second, per minute, how many users are connected to this internet world? What is internet? Network of networks. What is network? Interconnection between the systems in the fashion of local area network, wide area network, metropolitan area network. Okay. So these are the statistics of uh, worldwide. through internet we can see the internet live statistics.com total number of websites opened in this one so you may get doubt sir where the data is coming from and where the data is going and how many servers are required to store huge volume of data so that's why we are going for a cloud computing cloud computing is a 543 formula five characteristics four infrastructure models and three services so this one same i have incorporated in the slide also the numbers are increasing automatically the data center also increases so this is the syllabus today i would like to give you a brief introduction about all the topics what i am going to cover in this data science application with a syllabus usually this is a corporate syllabus i am a corporate trainer for all employees who are having 10 years of experience for them i am going to demonstrate with a practical session by using python programming libraries like tensorflow keras pytorch tiano pandas numpy pillow etc so here are uh, 12 major components of data science syllabus introduction to data science what i am going to cover 
so what are the dimensions of data science what are the characteristics what are the tools and uh, uh, techniques we are using in order to predict and detect uh, various uh, scientific applications then python programming there are two types of python programming we are using core python programming and advanced python programming so everybody knows uh, uh, core python programming if you know basic mathematics you can learn very easily if you know advanced uh, mathematics knowledge and uh, statistical knowledge then you can go for uh, advanced python programming like uh, numpy pandas scikit-learn sklearn tiano pytorch keras tensorflow philo etc cburn matplotlib etc these are the various libraries we are using under advanced python programming probability and statistics is the prerequisition for data science if you know probability and statistics you can do the wonders uh, in order to extract the meaningful insights from the huge volume of data by using statistical and artificial intelligence and machine and deep learning techniques then after that data structures and algorithms data structure is a systematic way of organizing data and accessing the data and representing the data and organizing the data in the fashion of linear and non linear fashion by using sorting searching and uh, data structure approaches like uh, dynamic programming greedy approach branch and bound and uh, uh, these are the various approaches we are using then after that uh, database and data warehousing database is a collection of interrelated data to manage the data we are using relational database tools like uh, sql mysql teradata db2 ms access in order to store a huge volume of data with help of tables is called database collection of uh, tables is called database in order to store a huge volume of data with help of data cubes we are going for data warehousing data warehousing is used to store a huge volume of data in the servers collection of servers is called data center data center is the backbone for cloud computing then artificial intelligence intelligent behavior in a machine is called robot we have a voice voice recognition robots like siri alexa we have humanoid robots like sofia asimo etc so science and engineering to develop intelligent intelligent applications by using ai models after that data mining data mining is the process of extracting meaningful interested patterns from the huge volume of data by using classification clustering association rule mining outlier detection so after that big data technologies which data we can call it as a big data my dear friends can anyone answer to my question which data we can call it as a big data i am giving the answer traditional systems are unable to process the data such type of data is called a big data that's why we are going for high computing servers like uh, uh, we are using matlab hive hbase zookeeper scoop hive etc so in order to perform hadoop and map reduce matlab and uh, python programming in order to process the the major components of big data technologies called uh, hdfs and map reduce so we are using java programming in order to perform classification clustering association rule mining outlier detection by using java python javascript and julia these are the programming languages then um, i am going to explain artificial neural networks based on the biological neuron how how to create artificial neural networks by using ann cnn rnn and lstm long long short term memory these are the various advanced artificial neural networks we are using in order to perform classification clustering association rule mining outlier detection then uh, machine learning learning from the observational data by using various tools and techniques we are predicting our uh, models 
And there are three approaches we are using machine learning like supervised learning unsupervised learning and uh, semi supervised learning or reinforcement learning what is meant by supervised learning there is a label there is a target class based on the target class we are classifying the data that is called classification by using svm technique decision tree neural networks bayesian networks etc then unsupervised learning so there is no label there is no target class but based on the uh, based on the similarity measure we are classifying the data that is called clustering there are clustering is nothing but based on the similarity measure the objects are behaving similarity between uh, among the objects so similarity measure how to find out square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square then uh, reinforcement learning is nothing but based on the punishment and reward we are solving the problems especially in gaming applications we are using reinforcement learning there are various techniques under uh, reinforcement uh, learning i am going to demonstrate then deep learning learning from the observational data with a deep manner by applying various input and uh, hidden layers by using uh, uh, convolutional neural networks recurrent neural networks long sh long short term memory techniques and uh, there are various uh, frameworks we are using in deep learning techniques like uh, tensor flow keras pytorch and matplotlib tiano and sk learn scikit learn and uh, numpy pandas pillow etc then uh, augmented reality virtual reality nowadays this is the latest trend latest technology in the field of audio and video applications in order to perform we are using ar and vr technology so these are the 12 topics i am going to demonstrate and uh, business applications and uh, case studies so right now i am doing uh, ground water data prediction and detection by using artificial intelligence statistical and machine and deep learning techniques uh, under my gser laboratory at the uh, university of newcastle australia actually i got uh, australia government uh, ground water data there i am using pre processing techniques like binning and box plot technique after that i am applying various models like statistical models like linear regression non linear regression logistic regression and followed by the ai models and ml and dl models then covid 19 virus prediction and detection variants are coming nowadays still variants are uh, uh, variants uh, you can uh, uh, see nowadays also this kind of uh, viruses so virus uh, expansion is vital information resource under seas that is computer related virus and covid 19 is virus is different and um, by using uh, various ml and dl techniques we are uh, predicting and detecting uh, health data analytics ebola virus prediction and detection using ml and dl techniques then uh, prostate breast skin and lung cancer uh, applicate a uh, lung cancer prediction detection by using various uh, techniques so so my dear uh, participants any doubt are you understanding uh, my my lecture say yes or no please respond anyone yes sir yes sir yes sir any yes, sir. doubts so yes, sir yes sir no changes sir any doubts so if you are having please uh, Uh, if you are unable to ask, uh, just uh, give uh, in the chat box so okay. that I am going to clarify the doubts. Thank you, sir. Uh, if, if if no doubts, I am going uh, further. Okay. Okay. So measuring the data in data science, sir, a huge volume of data is there. I don't know the measurement of uh, in server and uh, data center. see if you press capital a system cannot understand is it right or wrong system cannot understand internally it converts into ascii format ascii stands for american standard code for information interchange 
in the keyboard total 106 to 108 keys are there every key having its own ascii value okay so so if you press capital a system cannot understand internally it converts capital a value is 65 if you divide it by 2 uh, it gives the binary equivalent number is 100001 this is the binary equivalent number internally within fraction of seconds it is giving it is a, a typing in our monitor capital a o oh. You you are you have pressed capital A like uh, one bit is equal to zero or one, four bits is equal to one nibble, eight bits is equal to one byte, four bytes is equal to one word, four words is equal to thousand twenty four bytes, thousand twenty four bytes is equal to one kilobyte, thousand twenty four kilobytes is equal to one megabyte, thousand twenty four megabytes is equal to one gigabyte, thousand twenty four gigabytes is equal to one terabyte. Thousand twenty-four terabytes is equal to one petabytes. Thousand twenty-four petabytes is equal to one hexabyte. Thousand twenty-four hexabyte is equal to one octabyte. Thousand twenty-four octabyte is equal to one jettabyte. Thousand twenty-four jettabyte is equal to one yottabyte. And thousand twenty-four yottabyte is equal to one brontobyte. See, uh, before Robo movie, even I don't know and uh, we don't know. the terminology is there or not how do we measure the data in data science or data mining after that robo movie we came to know there is a terminology to measure the data like hi i am robo my speed is 1 terabyte my memory is 1 jettabyte after that movie only we came to know this is the terminology we are using to measure the huge volume of data in data science so yesterday night i searched uh, there are two more terminologies presented Thousand twenty-four uh, uh, yotta byte is equal to one bronto byte BB. Keep in mind, my dear friends, thousand twenty-four bronto byte is equal to one geo byte. Thousand twenty-four geo byte is equal to infinity. If you ask me after that, there is no terminology. See, same terminology. If you see the normal range and big data range, one kilo byte is ten power three, one mega byte is ten power six, one giga byte is ten power nine, one tera byte is ten power twelve. In big data range, petabyte is 10 power 15, hexabyte is 10 power 18, jettabyte is 10 power 21, yottabyte is 10 power 24, brontobyte is 10 power 27, geobyte is 10 power 30. This is the way we are measuring the data in data science. So this is the syllabus I am going to cover. I have explained already fundamentals, components, workflow of data science, and what are the tools and techniques and uh, what are the ai techniques in order to perform data analytics using statistical methods like uh, linear regression non linear regression logistic regression etc data analytics using ai techniques like a star algorithm and um, various uh, uh, statistical ai ml techniques we are integrating in this uh, ai techniques data analytics using data mining techniques like classification clustering association rule mining outlier detection etc and data analytics using artificial neural networks it is a classification technique and uh, uh, here we are using uh, various uh, hidden and input hidden and uh, input layers and various activation functions in order to predict and detect of any uh, data data analytics using machine learning techniques like uh, supervised learning techniques unsupervised learning techniques and reinforcement learning techniques then uh, data analytics using deep learning techniques like uh, learning from the observational data with a deep manner by using ann cnn rnn lstm tensor flow keras uh, and uh, sql learn scikit learn theano pytorch Mat, Matplotlib, Pillo, Pandas, NumPy, various frameworks we are integrating and developing various models in order to predict and detect various applications. And um, so Python programming I have explained already. So core Python programming and uh, uh, advanced Python programming. In core Python programming, everybody knows variables, operations. operator precedence string functions conditional statements classes and objects python collections like array sets tuples list dictionaries loop statements file operations and exceptions advanced python programming we are using numpy scipy 
See, NumPy means numerical Python. SciPy means scientific Python. Pandas in order to describe about data sets like tables. Okay. Then scikit-learn for machine learning algorithm purpose we are using. Matplotlib for generating visualization graphs. Tiano for big data analytics. TensorFlow for uh, uh, artificial intelligence and big data applications. Keras especially for uh, deep learning and machine learning applications. PyTorch for only machine learning applications. These are the frameworks or libraries or packages. Then statistics, statistics and probability. We know various uh, operations we are using like um, uh, addition, subtraction, and count, total, maximum value, minimum value, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, covariance, correlation, various operations we are using and uh, various uh, uh, testing methods we are using like a jet test, t test, psi square test, etc. in order to check our uh, model is uh, correctly classified or not and uh, various uh, uh, various uh, statistical methods like linear, non-linear, logistic regressions we are using. In linear algebra, we are using the Lagrange's, Lagrange's method and the matrices and the various quadratic forms we are using. Then uh, calculus and optimization, we are using Taylor series, maxima and minima and uh, functional of a single variable, limit, limit and continuity and differentiability we are using. Then uh, followed by the data structures and algorithms. So data structure approaches, we are using four approaches like divide and conquer approach and dynamic programming, greedy method, branch and bound. Here we are using sorting, searching, various algorithms we are using. Uh, a systematic way of organizing data, representing data and uh, accessing the data and uh, storing the data in the fashion of linear fashion, in the fashion of non-linear fashion. Like uh, linear fashion, we are using arrays, stacks, queues, linked list, etc. Non-linear uh, data structures like uh, trees and graphs, etc. So this is about uh, data structures and algorithms, database management and warehousing, collection of interrelated data, and uh, we are using uh, uh, storage of a huge volume of data in the servers and data centers. In uh, We are using ER model, SQL, and uh, no SQL databases we are using, like uh, Hive, HBase, Zookeeper, Scoop, etc. Then artificial intelligence, intelligent behavior in a machine. That is called robot. Uh, robots, humanoid robots like Asimo, Sophia. Sophia recently took the citizenship of Saudi Arabia. Here uh, I'm going to explain logic and the propositional predicates, reasoning under uncertainty topics, A star algorithm, approximate inference through sampling, and um, machine learning, neural networks, deep learning, and um, uh, GANs, Generative Adversarial Networks. I would like to mention one small interesting story. Recently, Japan, uh, one of the scientists has released his uh, facial expression over the period, like uh, baby, one year baby, five years, 10 years, 15, 25, 30, 35 years. How our face uh, over the period changes, facial expressions. How do we become in the old age? So, such type of facial expressions uh, app developed Japan scientists by using generative adversarial networks, GANs. My dear friends, keep in mind, GANs are a powerful technique in order to develop facial uh, recognition, facial expressions, facial emotions, such kind of applications, video, audio applications in order to develop by using GANs networks. Then uh, variational autoencoders. Transfer learning, federated learning, explainable AI, generative AI. See, recently I have started corporate training on generative AI. Here I am going to explain various uh, uh, new concepts like explainable AI, federated learning, transfer learning, and machine learning, deep learning by default, generative adversarial networks and variational autoencoders and uh, autoregressive models we are using. This, this is a corporate training syllabus. So by using Python programming, I'm developing various generative AI applications like uh, create a shop assistant AI, create a pixel craft AI, create a shred news AI, create Mr. Helpmate AI, 
semantic spotter, scale Mr. Helpmate AI, further development in generative AI, whatever the new applications if you want to develop by using Python programming, we are I am developing. So then data mining. The data mining is the process of extracting meaningful interested patterns by applying classification, clustering, association rule mining, outlier detection. In classification, we are using decision tree, random forest, K nearest neighbor, support vector machine, neural networks, and etc. In clustering, we are using K-means clustering, C-means clustering, fuzzy C-means clustering, agglomerative clustering, density-based clustering, etc. In association rule mining, I would like to give you a small story. Han and Cumber, they have developed one textbook called Data Warehousing and Data Mining. So Han and Cumber, they are the uh, they are uh, uh, they are pursuing their masters and PhD at uh, Stanford University. They have collected uh, ten years old legacy data and uh, kept in the server. And uh, they applied association rule mining techniques like a priori algorithm and FP growth algorithm in order to find out the frequent pattern items. So here is a small story. Uh, U.S. people usually they are outing with their family and the children, and every Saturday and Sunday. What are the items they are used to purchase in the WalMarts, and they are enjoying uh, Saturday and Sunday with their family members? So, ten years data they have collected, Han and Cumber they kept in the server. They have applied pre-processing techniques like box plot binning techniques. After that, they have applied association rule mining technique like a priori and FP growth. Surprisingly, two items are heavily sold out. Can anyone give answer? What are the two items are heavily sold heavily sold out uh, uh, in the WalMarts? Any answer from chat box? I would like to see. Anyone? Uh, bread and butter uh, is in the top ten uh, association rule mining. Yeah, your 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 answer is correct. But not correct, accurate answer. What I am expecting from the ten years legacy data, they have applied a priori and FP growth algorithm. Surprisingly, they found two hidden patterns, two interested items from the ten years old legacy data. Can anyone answer, Madam? What is your name? You have given wonderful answer, but not correct. Is there any other uh, faculty members, please? What is your answer? Milk. Milk and combination. Chocolate combination. So milk and chocolate. No, sir. It is a completely wrong answer, sir. I am expecting association rule mining frequent item sets in the Walmart. Two items. I am mentioning clearly. Two items are heavily sold out within the ten years legacy data. Can anyone answer? Try, sir. You tried very well, sir. I'm appreciating you. Milk and uh, jam, a uh, milk and bread. Maybe that one of the one more best uh, association rule. One more, uh. madam told uh, bread and jam. That is one more association rule. Baby wipes, sir. Baby wipes. Baby wipes or uh, wipes and diapers. Oh, diapers. Then what is the combination? One one wipes. answer you have given. Wipes, wipes, wipes. No. My dear friend, what is your name? Doctor Barani, sir. Barani, congratulations. Only fifty percent answer is correct. Can you Thank try you, for fifty percent combination frequent item set? Wonderful answer. Wonderful answer. Barani, try. Diaper is correct answer. Fantastic. Give him big round of applause. And one more answer. Can anyone please try? Strawberry. Strawberry, no, madam. Absolutely wrong answer, madam. Sorry to say you. Can anyone try? Diaper is correct answer. I have given fifty percent. What about remaining fifty percent? Can anyone? Frequent items means two items only. Heavily sold out uh, within ten years legacy data. Can anyone? Very interesting. I am going to demonstrate this application by using a priori and FP growth algorithm now. I'll start immediately after explanation of my. Syllabus directly. I am going to demonstrate. Can anyone give answer? Please. If you don't know, can I give the answer? Please, my dear faculty members. 
Any any guess? Any guess? Oh oh, sorry sorry to say you. So diaper Bharani, I am giving one goodie, one chocolate for you. Diaper. Thank you sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, diaper and beer is the combination. Hidden patterns. They even now the scientist surprised. What a combination this one. Usually US people are going uh, outing uh, with their family. They are picking uh, one diaper, one beer, like that combination. See, surprising item. That's why we are studying data mining. Data mining is the process of extracting meaningful, interested insights and uh, interested analytics. We are uh, generating. with the help of association rule mining like a prior and fp growth algorithms then uh, big data i have explained already so which data we can call it as big data traditional systems are unable to process the data is called big data maybe terabytes petabytes exabytes octabytes yottabytes jettabytes brontobytes and geobytes i don't know that's why we are going for high computing uh, for high computing uh, frameworks like uh, hadoop and uh, spark and uh, matlab hive hbase zookeeper various tools we are using in order to process the huge volume of data what are the dimensions of big data volume velocity variety veracity there are seven more vs are also presented like value validity viscosity and uh, variability etc types of big data we have three types of big data structured data unstructured data semi structured data so structured data means with help of uh, uh, relational database tools there is a schema there is a table there is a relation we are creating the tables with help of sql mysql teradata db2 ms access that is called as structured data so there is no label there is no Uh, i mean there is no schema there is no relation there is no there is no uh, anything but we are creating the tables we are creating the database with help of no sql databases such as mongo database hive database hbase database zookeeper scoop etc okay so uh, and uh, there are various concepts uh, we are using in this uh, big data technologies tools and techniques and various algorithms we are using then artificial neural networks so neuron is a biological uh, uh, expression in the biological uh, uh, pattern we are creating artificial neural network with help of input and hidden layers we have various uh, uh, activation functions and learning rate and uh, dropout and uh, layers like weights and biases generative adversarial networks slp single layer perceptron multi layer perceptron self organizing maps etc so then machine learning there are three approaches like supervised learning we have n number of techniques i have explained already unsupervised learning we have um, various techniques like agglomerative fuzzy c means k means etc in re reinforcement learning i have explained based on the punishment and reward we are solving the problems like uh, Uh, by using a sarsa dqn ddpg a3c these are the gaming algorithms in order to develop your own game you can use it then deep learning learning from the observational data with help of a huge number of input and hidden layers like uh, uh, ann cnn rnn lstm and uh, auto encoders etc then augmented reality virtual reality we have uh, various uh, uh, tools like head mount display hmd and uh, digital twins real time rendering and uh, we have a uh, mixed reality also field of view various concepts in the case of audio video we are developing so these are the various projects uh, i have developed in my research laboratory uh, and uh, g sir and g sir uh, is the uh, uh, research laboratory at the university of newcastle in my research laboratory so these are the 150 projects i have demonstrated under uh, data science research laboratory these are the 150 prediction and detection of ground water data this is the latest uh, uh, project proposal i am implementing uh, like uh, prediction and detection of ground water data pollutants that is called pfas 
using machine learning and uh, deep learning techniques okay so how many of you know and see if you want to see my uh, videos my dear friends just please go to youtube i have explained nearly 253 uh, videos are uh, presented uh, uh, here how many members are there right now 101 please open youtube so you type dr asadi please if you are in mobile also please type just go to youtube dr asadi srinivaslu you can type just dr asadi srinivaslu a s a d i please type s r i n i v a s u l u please type just after that press just go to dr asadi srinivaslu see how many videos i have created uh 244 videos are there if you see all my videos different technologies i have explained please uh please subscribe my channel and you can write your own comments take one minute time how many videos are there please see here nearly 244 on various technologies like uh, data science big data artificial intelligence ontology based and uh, see and uh, cyber security how many videos i have created for corporate training actually cyber security and uh, data science and uh, machine learning deep learning internet of things blockchain technology see here are the uh, various videos you can find the uh, 244 videos ethical hacking program demonstration and uh, see cloud computing and uh, Uh, here are uh, machine learning deep learning these are uh, all are my videos please subscribe and whenever you find the time please um, you can listen my videos and you can write comments on that my videos so now i am going to demonstrate all the practical sessions now see because of time so how many of you uh, subscribed sir only 10 members sir so far number not increase here please subscribe uh, at least subscribe one minute sir it is showing uh, now 12 members now only 12 members sir see now i am demonstrating a practical session on data science applications this all are uh, theory sessions you may get bored that's why i am going to demonstrate practical session now okay so i am going to demonstrate practical session now see python code see here python code linear regression to predict the student marks small application how to develop uh, please sir. see i am going to demonstrate this one okay if you are having a uh, python programming you can directly you can execute otherwise see just uh, control c so go to cmd once uh, you have installed python check whether python is there my screen is visible madam please can anyone yes sir yes sir yes sir 3.12.0 version i am using so here also see python can be executed in two ways this is idle uh, integration development learning environment a is equal to 3 you can check the a value b is equal to 4 uh, you can check the b value then c is equal to a plus b you can check the c value 4 plus 3 7 so this is simple manner to execute uh, python programming this is one more this is one way and one more way is a uh, 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 scripting way so scripting way you can write your own script like uh, notepad space so linear see i have created already in linear dot this is the program i have created write a python program to perform linear regression okay so i am executing right now python space linear dot py so now uh, see because of uh, uh, see libraries i, I need to install uh, libraries then only it can execute that's why now i am going for uh, uh, google colab see if you if you are if you are having a in, uh, in your system you can execute otherwise directly you can go to 
uh, Google Collaboratory. It is a, a, a execu en executed environment where you can execute your uh, all Python program. See now I'm I'm executing here. Just I'm copying this code and. Um, See now, I'm copying. See now I'm executing here. Now it is running. See left, my screen is visible, madam. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir, it's yes, very sir. visible. Yeah, it is visible. Yeah, now it is running. It is going to see now. See now it is, it produces results, graph. Are you seeing my graph? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, likewise, first program. Next, second program. See, go to Notepad space linear one. So this is on one more program, student program. Now see, I am going to execute. So here I am pasting. Uh, see, see now here I am pasting second program. Write a Python program to perform student marks. See here, I'm taking student marks like two hours. If student student reads 60 marks, he will get three hours reads 70 marks like that. So by using linear regression, how to execute now? See now my program is running. See now, please check here. So here seven hours. If you are studying, you are getting 100 percentage. See here, my screen is visible, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So now this is the first program, then the non-linear regression. If you see non-linear regression for same application, how do we, we are going to execute now? See, non-linear regression. Here go to notepad space. I have already created. Okay. Non-linear. So this is the uh, program. Now code. Google Collaboratory. Go to Google Collaboratory. Now run. So here, see now, this is the output I got it. So non-linear regression. Then uh, go to next logistic regression. See, uh, write a Python program to predict a student's marks within hours. So uh, same, two hours, 60 marks, three hours, 70 marks. Now I am executing that uh, program, logistic regression. What is the output uh, we are getting? See now, now I am executing uh, notepad space logistic. So this is the program. Sorry. So this is the program control C. Now I'm going to code here, then paste it. Now run. So here uh, you are getting largest C. Now I got the logistic regression output. So here, see, this is the program. And uh, this is the output I got it. Next, uh, uh, support vector machine. Write a Python program to perform SVM classification using Iris data set from scikit-learn. By using sklearn, how to execute? This is the program I am going to demonstrate now. Control C, go to Google Collaboratory because all libraries are inbuilt. -ed. Okay. Uh, all uh, all libraries are inbuilt. So here you can paste. Now run the program. Now see, support vector machine. See, I got 100% accuracy here. Support vector machine. Here is the output. Please check. Next program, Python program to perform K nearest neighbor uh, classification uh, using scikit-learn. This is the output I need to get it. So I am executing next program okay so see nearest neighbor i'm i'm copying this one and pasting write a python program to perform k nearest neighbor classification algorithm using scikit learn now i'm running the program now see the output how much output i got it 93 percent accuracy i got it same way i have executed n number of applications see decision tree so decision tree like uh, 
uh, and uh, i got 93.5 percentage and uh, so python programming by using naive based classification python program to perform random forest and uh, random forest classification scikit learn neural networks so uh, this is a k means clustering and uh, see write a python program to perform k means clustering pca and uh, see this is the program i have explained uh, like uh, write a python program to perform the a priori algorithm see uh, bread and milk i have taken the data set like uh, bread milk vegetables and uh, bread milk cheese eggs vegetables like that now i am predicting by using uh, uh, this algorithm uh, this is the combination best combination i am getting this is the results now i am going to demonstrate that one please see here what is the file name i have given uh, the file name is apriyari dot okay see now uh, notepad space apriyari see this is the program now i am demonstrating go to code here paste see now i am generating the output see now the item sets please my dear friends 71% support bread cheese 57% eggs frequent item sets can you see the association rule mining what is the first combination we got it uh, highest accuracy can anyone please see here bread and cheese best combination then uh, association rules we got it best five rules i have generated my screen is visible my dear friends hello yes sir uh, yes sir Uh, any doubt uh, please ask me only 3 minutes is there uh, okay. i have another meeting with my university of newcastle uh, please uh, uh, ask any queries uh, if you are having demo uh, if you are if you are having any doubts please ask me i am going to clarify <laughs> hello madam hello madam sir Yeah, yeah. Ask the monster into your domain, or uh, see, I am going to do uh, many tasks like uh, I am preparing oh, 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 SCA papers, Scopus papers. If you want help in uh, preparing uh, uh, research articles and thesis, also I am doing parallelly with my corporate training. If anybody wants, I am going to uh, publish uh, uh, research articles in SCA, Scopus. this is preparation if you want help i am going to help you with collaboration i am going to help you yeah please ask me any doubts see this is your uh, sapita sapita uh, college of general arts and science i have conducted yes i have conducted 175 uh, webinars and seminars and workshops see this all are uh, various uh, uh, webinar seminars all over the world i have created cyber security this many uh, 175 within 3 years i have conducted uh, 175 uh, uh, physical and virtual workshops i have conducted dear friend if you are having any doubts please ask me i am going to clarify please Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please ask me. Sir, Skype is Skype. Hello. Ali. Yeah, I am there. I have a doubt, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please ask me, sir. Uh, whether the Python only enough to execute all the Python? Uh, whatever. Sir, uh, uh, sir, if you are strong in Java, also see Java and Python are competitors nowadays. If you are strong at coding skills, then go for Java. Sir, I don't have that much coding skills. Then go for Python programming. Why Python is so popular? Because of rich number of libraries are presented. Some lakhs of libraries are presented. So okay. if you if you are strong in Python, then go for Python only, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Name, Hello, sir. Your name? Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. Jake, Jake, ma'am, from Chennai. Yeah, yeah. Very good, very good, very good question. Next, uh, anyone? Any question? Hello, sir. 
yeah yeah please ramit ask sir ramit sir from chennai sir yeah yeah please sir ask uh, me sir site 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 planning no sir what is the meaning for site learn scientific oh, yeah. see all machine learning algorithms like classification clustering association rule mining if you want to per- perform machine learning approaches like supervised unsupervised reinforcement learning algorithms go for scikit learn that is called as sk learn it is a library it is a package it is a framework in order to classify the data in order to clustering the data in order to perform association rule mining in order to perform outlier detection we are going for sk learn that is called scikit learn it is a framework it is a library very good question sir any doubt thank you sir yeah yeah please subscribe only ac so far 24 members only subscribe what happened to remaining 96 members are there can i expect 96 members at least 90 members please go to my channel and subscribe i am not sir, 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 i am not giving any money money purpose just if you sir, want to do the reason you can listen no problem sir excuse me sir yeah, sir one doubt sir yeah yeah please sir, uh, sudhakar here i have small doubt sir yeah, yeah. Uh, what about the reliability while uh, using uh, confusion matrix uh, for the support vector machine or uh, navis base what are like that see, or the logistic regression also yeah yeah see confusion matrix we are using for uh, to find out the accuracy how many items are correctly classified how many items are uh, wrongly classified for that purpose we are using confusion matrix if you use uh, for classification clustering confusion matrix it use accuracy so the reliability is depends on the data set what you are taking so automatically you can apply confusion matrix you can generate confusion matrix suppose 200 item sets you have taken so it it classified only 100 correctly classified and 100 wrongly classified that means the confusion matrix says that false positive false negative okay true positive and true negative so it calculates the 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 correctly classified by number of total items that gives the accuracy of the uh, proposed model very good question sir very good question any thank doubt you, sir, thank you thank you sir yeah yeah please uh, any doubt please ask me so far only 34 members sir subscribed my channel any doubts please ask me dr asadi srinivas lu if you type you will get it madam you ask madam uh, is there any other doubts they are having i am i'm going to clarify please my dear friends no hesitation if you want uh, any collaboration with me research article preparation see recently i have conducted how to create the best research article by using ai and ict tools so one day is, it is enough for me to create the best research article and we can upload and uh, in sci and scopa journal that uh, workshop i am going to do physical okay yeah anyone please uh, any doubt please ask me my dear friends madam anyone having any doubts please clarify participants if you have any doubt you can yes clarify your doubt now yeah hello hello sir good evening sir yeah please madam tell me yeah uh, sir actually uh, in in a research paper uh, yeah. if you can take uh, some some of the content uh, and i mean ideas from the ai tools yeah uh, correct would be like that uh, but if you can uh, the same thing if you can uh, uh, write in the research paper yeah. so no, there are ai plugins are there be careful while sir. using ai tools it sir. will show you 100% plagiarism that's why uh, that's why there are some some tips and tools and techniques if you use we can create the best research article by using ai tools but don't don't go for copy and paste exactly whatever it is giving it it uh, there is a plugin that there is a plugin called uh, uh ai plugin is there in the turnitin software it will catch where you have copied and paste 
while doing that uh, copy and paste. Yeah, tell me, madam, any doubt? Hello, madam. Actually, getting the. Yeah. There is there is a feedback form in the group chat. Please fill up all of you feedback. All of you come into the video so that uh, the coordinators will take the picture and they will prepare the uh, uh, report. Please switch on all of you all cameras. They will take a snapshot so that. Madam, I have conducted numerous. The camera is not able to visible. Please open your camera and take. Uh, they will coordinators will take uh, snapshot and they will prepare uh, report. I hope that yes. the coordinators has been blocked. Not uh, presented for the video. No sir. No. Is coming video. Yeah, please take madam snapshot. Yes sir. It is blocked by user. For using your camera. So, any doubts, uh, my dear friends? Do it you like the session? Give uh, even open even feedback. Even. Please give open <laughs> feedback. I would like to see open feedback. Do you like my session or not? Yes. Yes, sir. Really, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's really. Yes, sir. It is really good and really excellent, sir. I am T. Nirmala from S C S University of Kanchi Brahm. Within a short duration of the time, you have given lot of information regarding the research. In what way that you want to implement it in AI, machine learning, deep learning, big data analytics, and how to prepare over the paper also. Very excellent. Thank you very much for your short time of duration. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mati, sir. Thank you. Any open feedback, please. No problem. Your session is very interactive, sir. Thank you, sir. Sudhakar, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Man, physical workshop. If you conduct, yeah, one day workshop on how to create the best research article by using AI and ICT tools. Recently, I have conducted a uh, 10 to 15 college and universities all over the world. I'm doing. Surely, yeah, sure. we will invite you, sir. Yeah, sure, man. Sure, sure. sure. I'm going to share with you my PPT also. You can explore yourself, and you Thank can gain you so knowledge. Much, sir. Most of the participants are asking. Can you share the PPT? Yeah, yeah. So sure. Replied. I will ask. Without asking you, I am saying, madam, this is knowledge, sharing knowledge. I am not hiding anything. I will give you. Don't worry. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. If no queries, uh, coordinators will give a feedback on this uh, one-hour session. They will wind up the session. Please. Vote of thanks now, sir. Dr. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Good evening to all the, all the participants. On behalf of management, thank you for your wonderful presentation, sir. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to all the participants for their active involvement in this wonderful FDP. Thanks to our speaker, Dr. Asadi Srinivasalu, for sharing his expertise making this program. Teaching. Your commitment has truly enhanced the leading learning experience for everyone involved in this wonderful FDP. Once again, thank you, sir, for your time and valuable input. Thank you, sir. Uh, my, dear, my dear friends, last one. There are many videos are there. Please subscribe my channel and encourage me. That's all. I'm not going for any money and all. Just uh, you can uh, have uh, my videos. 244 videos are there. Okay. Thank you, madam, for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Yes. Okay. That's a lot, sir. Check and man. Check and man. Thank <laughs> you.